everyone welcome back to my channel so happy Easter to begin with today is Easter but I went ahead and decided to do this because I did have some downtime while I'm waiting for my fiance to get home so we can head to our family stuff um so I what I did was I actually went and grabbed anything I knew I had recently picked up um, might have been separate trips might have been um, separate stores but I'll definitely share that information with you guys and um, I'm just gonna go through things I've bought for myself and to also resell, of course. So to begin with, actually, this top is torn. Super cute. You can see my bra straps, but it'll do for today. Um, but it is torn, and I picked this up at Goodwill at a half-price sale um, the first Saturday of October of last year. So this next item is a really cool Chicago's Bowl t-shirt. I found this at the Goodwill outlet um, during one of the blowouts. Here is the tag. Definitely, um, probably 90s is what I'm thinking. There are some stains, but people buy those, so it's not a big deal. Actually, my uh, one of my sisters found this for me. It's just a little cardigan. Um, it's like a laced cardigan, super cute. It is Kato. It's a plus size as well. But everything fits differently. So I wear both regular sizes and plus sizes. It just depends on how I want the item to fit my body. Ooh, it's kind of warm in here. I have the windows open today because it's actually super nice outside. So this is a Knox Rose top has embroidery on it. Um, super cute. I believe this one is a extra large. I haven't tried it on yet so I don't know if this is something I'm going to keep for myself or if I'll take to a res resale shop. Um, I've never tried selling this brand online so if I don't keep it I'll probably try to sell it locally first and then if that doesn't work out then I'll try it online. This is a super cool piece my older sister actually picked up during the um, half price Goodwill sale at the outlet, so it was the blowout um, earlier this month in April. It's a vintage guest sweatshirt. It is a size extra large. That Chicago's Bull sweat, uh, t-shirt is also an extra large. So I'm wondering if it was like the same owner. Here's your guest tag. There is markings on it. Um, the embroidery looks great, but I think somebody at one point painted in it, so there are yellow and white marks throughout. But honestly, unless you're looking for them, you could easily not see them. But I understand, like, some people, if you know there's a flaw, it bothers the heck out of you. Um. This I picked up for myself, however, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I don't think I've shown this yet. I think this was, this is from the outlet. It has pockets, it's by Gap. It's a full um, jumpsuit or jumper or whatever people call it. Um, and this is essentially a 1X, it's a XXL. We'll try it. It may not be for me, though. And if it's not, then I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'll probably offer it up to somebody first. Give them the option to keep it. And if they don't want it, then I will sell it somehow. Um, this is my older sister found for me as well at the outlet. This is a older Adidas tag. They're just your button-up or breakaway pants. But at the very bottom down here... It has this really cool um, Adidas, whatever you call these things. I can't think of it right now. It says the brand with stri three stripes down there. Um, buttons all seem intact in working order. They are missing buttons up here, like a loop button. But it's fine. Um, these will be, these are men's, but there is no size on it, so I'll have to measure it to figure that out. These I'll definitely sell online. 
nose is ready. Um, this is also a Goodwill outlet find. Just thought it was super cute. We got Mickey on here. I'm not sure if somebody made this themselves or not just because the inside, like I don't know how to tell this determination. But there isn't a name on the tag, it's just a size small. Super adorable, I'm thinking it's maybe a little vintage. Just picked it up, Disney sells, um, whether it's kids or not. So sorry about that everyone. So this is a jumper I picked up for myself from Plato's Closet. Um, super cute. It fits me pretty good. It is an extra large new with tags from TJ Maxx. I honestly think they mistagged this at Plato's Closet because this says t-shirt $4 but they didn't say anything about it. Um, so I got this for $4, which is awesome. Next, I also got a Plato's Closet. It's a Torrid tank top. Um, it is a size 2, so that is a 2X. I got this for $5 at Plato's. Um, it actually was on clearance, and their clearance was 50% off. So I got it for $2.50, which is even better. Um, super cute floral print, has a zipper back here, work in order, I checked the seams, I looked for holes, for any kind of flaw and why this would be clearance out, and I think it's just, it's too mature of a shirt for their demographic, that is why it made it to clearance. But super cute, doesn't fit me, it's too big. Um, this is another Torrid tank. Got this from the outlet. Um, it is a size double zero, so I believe that is maybe a large. But I love the roses on, well, I think they're roses. Rose pattern on here. I love how it's like a purpley color and not like gray. I haven't tried it on, um, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it for myself or if I will resell it. Next, I have another Torrid tank top. See a trend? Um, this is really cute with the fringe. Um, this also was clearance out at Plato's. So again, I paid $2.50 for this. This is, it's too long on me. Like, Guzzy, please stop. Like this part, it hangs to my mid thighs and I'm just not, not a fan. So that will be for sale. Uh, what is this? Oh, this one of my coworkers picked up for me. It's just a NASCAR button up. Um, new tags. She texted it to me. She was like, hey, do you want this? I was like, how much? And she told me, and I said, if you're getting it for me, of course. So she did. Um, this is the girl that we pick up things for each other all the time. This is a lush crop top. Very, very sparkly. I should probably just have this listed right now with it being festival, festival season, <laughs> but I haven't yet. Um, it's super cute. It is a size large, but it's definitely a junior's large. These are Adidas leggings. They have their stripes, whoops, stripes down the side. They are a size medium, yes, medium, cute, good condition, the inner thighs look pretty good. That is probably my number one tip when looking at pants. Go straight for the um, inner thighs first because I rub through my pants all the time. So it's definitely something when I'm shopping for pants I look for even if it's new with tags. This is another Goodwill outlet. It's, well, I thought it was a scarf, but when I'm looking at it now, it might be a tablecloth. Gussie. But super cute. Good for the holidays. It could, 
the Eric Tree skirt for next year. I don't know. Don't know if I'll get rid of it. Don't know if I'll keep it. But I thought it was cute. It's in great condition. It feels nice. So I went ahead and picked it up. Alright, and then this is the last piece I'm going to show you guys today. Like I said, this is just kind of like a really quick video of things I had laying in my room. Um, and I knew that I could quickly whip out something for you guys. Life's been a little hectic this week, but I want to make sure I'm posting a video weekly. Um, so anyways, I got this at Close Mentor. It is a Lily Poltzner. Holzer, I don't know how to say the last part, but it is an extra large. Like, I never see her stuff in larger sizes. It's always small or extra small. So I was super excited when I found this. And this too was clearance. It was 30% off. I think I paid just under $10 for it. But even anything I got from Clothes Mentor and, um, we know I ever put his closet. I actually took items in and did a trade, so I ended up not spending any money out of my own pocket. It was just like dead inventory that they purchased from me to then um, I could recycle into new inventory. They had really nice pieces. Um, Clothes Mentor did. Clearance out, like Free People was clearance out. A lot of it I just didn't have, couldn't justify the funds at the moment. So anyways, That'll conclude this haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Happy Easter. Bye.